welcome back to my channel so today I will be creating this look right here kind of like a monochromatic rose gold kind of vibe using none other than my favorite Charlotte Tilbury I have the glow gas and love gas and palette the highlighting wands and the eyes to mesmerize cream shadow so you guys will get to see how I apply everything and you guys will get to know my final thoughts on every single product at the end of the video so let's jump right into it Alrighty guys, so I already have my foundation, concealer, and just setting powder underneath my eyes. So let's get right into the goodies. I'm going to start by trying out the um, Glow Gas and Beauty Light Wand. So I want to highlight my skin now that it's still like kind of wet. Um, so I'm going to use the shade Gold Gasm. And I'm just going to apply it on the back of my hand. I always like to work off the back of my hand so that's the color right there. It's just like a beautiful gold liquid highlighter and then with my finger. But before I do anything let me just spritz a little bit of the Farsali Gold Mist. Alright so just with my finger I'm gonna apply this on the areas where I want to highlight so my cheek, the highest points of my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, a little bit on my temples okay see how gorgeous that is but right here as well same thing on my chin all right so now that we have that on I feel like it looks so glowy and dewy just right up my alley so now we're gonna go in with the glow gasm uh, face palette and this one's in the shade love gas um, the, there's a lighter one for fair to medium complexions this one's more for like 10 to deeper skin tones tell me this is not beautiful so you have like um, a highlighting shade you have like a, a shade that you can use as a blush um, you can use this as a blush topper as a highlight same thing with oh no and this is the bronzer I want to see if this bronzer is deep enough for like my complexion or even deeper complexion so we're gonna go with this one right here I'm gonna use my favorite brush 140 by Mac so let's see oh that's pretty I will say it's not extremely pigmented you kind of do have to like build it so before we move on to anything else I'm gonna use that same bronzer and I'm gonna apply it in my crease as a transition color and I'm gonna use the Mac 286 dual fiber blending brush okay so now I want to try the other glow gas and beauty light wand this one's in the shade peach gas and I love this shade because I feel like I can use this as a cream blush if I wanted to. Uh, there's another shade which I didn't get. I think it's called Pink Gasm, but this is beautiful. I'm just going to use a Sephora number 55 brush and I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones. OMG. I wanted to use this as a base for the blush that's in the palette. You guys can tell me this is not beautiful. So far that's my favorite. Oh wow. Alright so let's apply the highlight shade which is this gold right here. And I'm going to be using a MAC 168 brush to apply this. Let's just see. Oh. Oh no, 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 Miss Charlotte, darling. You guys. So now moving on to blush, I'm going to apply both of these, but I'm going to start off with this one and then top it off with that one. So I'm going to be using a MAC 137, so I'm going to start with the lighter shade at the bottom. And I'm going to apply that right on top of the cream one that I applied earlier. The glow, you see the glow. I know you guys see the glow. And now I'm gonna go with the darker shade right here. I'm gonna be very light handed with this because I don't know how pigmented this is. Oh, 
So let's go on back to the eyes and I'm going to go ahead and use the Rose Gold Eyes to Mesmerize. This is another product that she launched. I'm just going to, with my finger, apply this all over my lid. Let's see how this goes on. Let me just remove a little bit. No way. This is this whole collection is a vibe. I'm gonna grab this shade right here, the um darker kind of like rose gold shade, and with that same 286, I'm just gonna you know, apply this all over my lid, pretty much. I want to, like, kind of add up a little pop, so I'm going to grab the highlighting gold shade right here. And I'm going to apply that more towards the inner area of my eye. Like right here. Alrighty guys, so apply some lashes. These are by Batty B in the style Saucy. And let's just finish up the eyes. So I'm going to grab a MAC. A MAC. This is a Morphe M507. It's just like a tapered, pointy type of brush. And I'm going to run basically the bronzer shade and then this shade right here on my lower lash line. I'm going to start off with the bronzer. And I'm gonna grab that like um, rose gold shade. I'm gonna go ahead and um, grab like a brown pencil. This is also by Charlotte Tilbury. This one's in the shade Barbarella Brown. It's just a nice uh, cool eye pencil. I'm just gonna apply this right on my waterline. I'm not gonna bring it all the way to the um, inner corner of my eye. I'm just gonna smudge that liner. I'm gonna apply a little bit of Max Extended Play Mascara. So I cleaned off the uh, the Morphe M507 brush because I'm gonna spritz it a little bit with some of the um, Frisali spray, and I'm gonna go back in with that um, gold shade. Just want my inner corners to pop a little bit more. There we go, it's a lot better. Moving on to lips, I'm gonna grab MAC Cork. And just to kind of like keep up with the coral kind of rose gold theme, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Sexy Sienna. I love this shade. It's kind of like a pinky, kind of like I don't know, coral shade. And for gloss, I'm going to use the Patrick Ta. She's an influencer. Lip gloss. And of course, I'm going to finish up with some for Sally. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I am obsessed, like shocked, because I was not expecting this kind of a glow. So let's talk about the products. Let's start off with the um, wands. So this is the um, Beauty Light wand in the shade uh, Gold Gas. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys can um, see the shades, basically the difference between the shades. So that's the gold shade. Then we have the uh, Peach Gasm. That's Peach Gasm. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys the original shade. This one she already had in her collection. This one's called Spotlight. And this is more of like a champagne-y, more kind of like almost silverish type of shade. So, as you guys can see, this is more suitable, in my opinion, for fair to medium skin tones. I use this still because it works on me once I blend it out with my finger. But I'm just glad that she incorporated more shades for, you know deeper skin tones and I highly recommend this if you like that glow from within because it's not going to give that glittery type of chunky look um, and I love to use this as a base underneath my powder highlight so I can get more of that intensity highly highly recommend they're all gorgeous 
Moving on to the Eyes to Mesmerize um, Rose Gold. This is like a cream shadow. And I'm going to swatch this as well on the back of my hand right here. So that is the Rose Gold eyeshadow right here. I feel like this is great if you are one of those people that's just like myself. You don't like to take so long doing your eyeshadow. You just want to use one shade. This is perfect. You'll just apply with your finger if you want to use a brush and call it a day. Or you can also use it as a base like I did today for your other shadows to be more intense. I really, really like it. I don't think this is going to be a must for everybody because if you're not into cream shadows, then it's probably not up your alley. So now moving on to the star of the show, which is the Glowgasm palette. Once again, I have the shade Lovegasm. First of all, the packaging. Like this looks like cotton candy. Like, I don't know. It's just gorgeous. So once again, you have your bronzer, you have your highlight shade. And this too you can use as blush shoppers or as um, just uh, blushes or you can use them on your eyes. That's what I love about face palettes. They're so multi-purpose. Um, in terms of the bronzer, if you are like my skin tone and probably up to like an NC47 by MAC, you'll be able to rock this shade. But if you have deeper skin tone, it's not going to show up on you so you probably won't like that at all. Because this, this is going to be pretty much a waste for you. Now, in terms of the other shades, bomb. It doesn't matter if you have fair to medium to darker skin tones. I think all of the shades right here are suitable for all skin tones. They're just, excuse me, gorgeous. And the formula is almost like a gel type of formula. It reminds me a lot of the Laura Geller um, highlighters. I don't have them, but I've swatched them on the back of my hand at Ulta. And it feels exactly like that. Super, super creamy. There's no glitter. There's no shimmer. It's just a very smooth highlighter. You guys see my skin? Like, come on. Like, this is stunning. I highly recommend this if you love highlighters, if you love blushes, if you're into warm tone shades. This is beautiful. The only thing is the bronzer. That's the only bummer in terms of deeper skin tones. But everything else is just incredible to me. I'm obsessed and I highly recommend everything, especially, especially like the palette and the highlighters. The, eye the cream eyeshadow is more of a preference, but I'm just in awe right now. I love how my skin looks. And if you guys haven't noticed, I am obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury products. She's definitely on my top three. She just gets how to make your skin look natural and glowy without looking like cake face you know what i mean so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions as always let me know in the comments area check the description box for all the product information in terms of what i use today and i will catch you on the next one bye beauties